You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, YNR fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we've got some sizzling spoilers for the week of April 15th through 19th on the CBS Soap Opera. Check back tomorrow, though, for the full roster of weekly spoilers for the week ahead. But in the meantime, I've got some huge, huge stuff happening next week. And definitely click subscribe if you haven't yet. Let's talk about the accusations Claire Grace Howard is facing next week and whether or not she actually did what people suspect she did. So we have got Claire with Kyle at the Abbott Mansion next week and her saying that it's late, she should go, and he's asking her to stay. So on the Friday cliffhanger episode on April 12th, Kyle leaves the party and takes a sleepy Harrison back to the Abbott Mansion to put him to bed. And Claire notices that Harrison dropped his little lucky bunny that he showed her, and she wants to make sure the kids got his favorite toy back before bedtime. So it looks like she's going to go over to the Abbott Mansion to return it, and Kyle invites her to stick around. So we know from new spoiler photos that Claire spends time upstairs in Harrison's room alone with the kid, hanging out with him and reading a story. So clearly Kyle lets her go upstairs to hang out with his son. And of course, Harrison really likes her. He ran and he hugged her at the party while Summer was giving her a stink eye. So um, Kyle seems to be very accepting of her. Summer was staring daggers at Claire throughout Victor and Nikki's party. So she's not going to be happy about what happens next. So first we've got Claire at the house positioned in the same room with Harrison with no other adult supervision. That sets the stage for what comes next. We've got Kyle ranting to his parents, Jack and Diane. After the gala, they come back to the house and Kyle says to Jack that he wishes it was a game, but it's not. And he's cursing and wondering why he trusted his son with Claire. So it looks like Jack and Diane come home from the big party to a very distraught Kyle He cannot find his son Harrison anywhere in the house, and it seems like he also can't find Claire. So clearly, Kyle is first blaming himself since he made the decision to let Claire into the house and let her be alone with Harrison. And the assumption Kyle makes is that whatever happened, Claire is to blame and did something with his kid, absconded, ran off, kidnapped. And of course, Jordan warned Nikki and Victoria that Claire would turn on them because she raised her basically to be an agent of chaos and revenge. So I wonder if Claire's mom and grandmother will have no doubts about it and are sure that they can trust her or if maybe Jordan's words might haunt her and they wonder, is there more to this? So then we have Summer having a conversation with Victoria over the tack house. So Victoria is wondering, why are you showing up to ask if my daughter would bring Harrison here? How would that even happen? So there is a spoiler photo of Summer at the anniversary party. She's on the phone. She's looking very upset. So I suspect Kyle is going to call his ex-wife and tell her that he let Claire hang out and spend time with Harrison. And now their son is missing. So I also assume that Summer is going to head over to Claire and Victoria's house, the new house, the tack house they just moved into, looking for her son Harrison and of course wanting to grill Claire's mom, Victoria, on exactly what her daughter did and where she might have taken her son without permission. To me, it seems such a long shot to think Claire would have walked out of the Abbott Mansion with Harrison and drove over to the ranch property and just randomly took their kid home with her, but I do suspect they have to chase down every lead and Summer is upset and breathless and tells Victoria, Claire took Harrison. And then she says they're both missing. And I'm sure that it's that last part, they're both missing, that is going to get all the Newmans' attention and is going to clarify everything for them. So once the Newmans find out Claire and Harrison are both gone, I absolutely expect they will assume it's Jordan looking for payback and that they will tell the Abbots, look, I think both of them are in danger. I don't think Claire has kidnapped anyone. I think they were both kidnapped. And we do know from spoilers photos for next week that Jordan did in 
indeed take them both. She got access to the Abbott Mansion, which I'm sure was much easier than getting onto the Newman property. And on Friday, you're going to see Jordan in her bearded drag get up lurking on the periphery of the party, watching Claire interact with the Newmans. And when she notices how well Claire and Harrison are getting along, she calls it precious. And of course, that's just going to make Jordan crazier. After Claire leaves, Jordan ditches her beard and her tweed outfit and glasses and all that and follows them. She's got some black clothes on, perfect for sneaking around, kidnapping young people and terrorizing families. So in the spoiler photo, you can see that Jordan has got a white cloth in her hand. She's in like a black ball cap, a full black outfit and this white cloth in her hand. That's got to be for chloroform because she kidnaps both Claire and Harrison. And of course, the Abbots assume the worst of Claire. But the thing is, she is a victim in this as well. And the Newman should realize it quickly and let the Abbots know that this has got to be the work of Crazy Jordan. Of course, that should actually scare the Abbots even worse than the idea of it being Claire, honestly. I mean, Claire kidnapping the kid is much preferable to Jordan having her murderous clutches on that cute little kid. So I expect Victor to galvanize his crack security team and start a manhunt for Jordan, Harrison, and Claire. And I'm very curious where Jordan and takes them and exactly what is her end game? Does she plan to hurt Harrison and Claire to hurt Victor and Nikki and Victoria and a lot of other people? I mean, Jordan already had a chance to take the money and run. You remember Victor offered her a bag of cash and a house in France if she would just go, but she didn't because it doesn't seem to me like any amount of money or luxury home or cars would satisfy the dark and vengeful heart that is beating in Jordan's chest. That woman is awful. She just wants to hurt other people because she's a nut job who has just come up with this posthumous vendetta decades after her sister died from a bug bite, not from anything the Newmans did to her. Jordan might as well be out slapping mosquitoes in vengeance. It would make more sense. So I'm certain we're going to have lots more info once the full roster of Week Ahead YNR spoilers is released. And as always, we'll deliver those to you on Saturday. And we'll just have to wait and see how long the Abbots suspect Claire is a perpetrator and not a victim and whether the Newmans keep the faith in her. All right, that's it. We will have your entire list of dated daily spoilers for April 14th through 18th coming tomorrow and lots, lots more to talk about. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse ahead into next week. I am very interested to see exactly what Jordan's final move is and how long she'll hold poor little Harrison and Claire Hodge. Hostage. I suspect this kidnapping might have Summer despising Claire even more than she does now. We'll see, even when the truth that Jordan is to blame comes out. Wait and see what happens. Please subscribe if you haven't already and definitely drop your comments on how you think everyone is going to react to this double kidnapping and check back soon because we're here talking days, uh, talking days, talking young and the restless and days as well and bold and beautiful and general hospital <laughs> seven days a week on your number one soap opera spoilers channel on youtube and i'm your host belinda from soap dirt thank you for being a loyal listener follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode soap dirt is on all the major podcast platforms including apple podcast spotify iHeartRadio, and more 